Oh my gosh, you guys, I am finally making the video that I've been promising y'all I was gonna make. Today, we are gonna talk about block scheduling. I'm gonna tell you guys what it is, give y'all some tips, and then I'm gonna show you some different ways to actually block schedule your day using a planner. What is block scheduling? Let's start with that. Block scheduling is just a way of planning your day in blocks. And I'm telling y'all, if you do this and you stick to it, it's going to increase your productivity. So without block scheduling, let's think about how we normally plan our day, right? We just have like general to-do list, to-do list, to-do list, to-do list, all these things that we have to do. And what we're doing is we're hopping from thing to thing, from area to area. So let's say, for example, um, you find yourself in the kitchen, you're cleaning things up, and then you realize you need to um, maybe send an email. So then you're running, you're sending an email and then you got to post to social media and then you're back to cleaning things up again. And then you remembered that you got to get the laundry changed over. And it's just like, you're just hopping and it kind of feels like you're putting out little fires all day long. Right. And then you get to the end of your day and you still feel like you didn't accomplish anything. Like the day it's like, what happened? Like I did so much day, but I didn't get anything done. Well, block scheduling is going to help you get rid of the chaos and it's gonna help increase your productivity so you're actually accomplishing more in the day. Okay, so block scheduling is, like I said, it's planning your days out in blocks. A few tips for you guys. Number one, you want your blocks to be about two to three hours long. We're not planning by the hour. Honestly, I think hourly planning is really, really overwhelming, especially when, um, let's say you have an hour to do something and it ends up taking you longer. Well, then you have to reschedule the thing that you planned for next and it's just so overwhelming and it, there's, there's not necessarily too many hours in the day, but for hourly planning, there's too many hours. I don't like doing it. Now, if you're like, I love to plan by the hour, then do your thing. Don't let me tell you any different. If that works for you, go for it. I just know that hourly planning does not work for me. Um, so you want to keep your blocks about two to three hours long. I noticed that when the blocks are longer than that, so let's say that it's like four hours long, it's hard to stay focused on that block, on that area of work. And that'll make sense here in just a minute when I show you guys what I mean by actual blocks. Now, if you are like, Ashley, I have a day job. You know, I have to work. I have to make a living. Um, I'm currently in between um, nursing school and becoming a nurse. So I'm home most of the day. But anyways, if you have a job and let's say you're, it's like nine hours. Well, that's, that's going to be your block. That's not something that you can control, right? So, you know, if you're working from like eight to five or whatever, or nine to five, that's a block of time that's for work. You can actually even block schedule your workout. So once you get to work, you can block schedule your day from there. But as far as those chunks of time that, you know, we are not in control of, so like work schedules, that can obviously be longer than four hours. You're not gonna call your boss and be like, hey, I'm block scheduling now and I can't go over four hours, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Pretty sure your boss would not like that, right? For any other time, you don't wanna go over four hours because it's hard to stay focused and you just kind of get burnt out on that block. And having them, I've noticed for about three hours, two to three hours, depending on what you're doing, is a really good time slot. So what are blocks? Blocks are, let me, let me do this. Let's do it this way. Blocks are these like categories that you have in your life, right? These areas that you have in your life. So let me give you some examples. Let's say you have a cleaning block and maybe this is like a two hour block, right? So for two hours, you're focused on cleaning. Well, within that cleaning block, you're gonna have different things that you're doing. So maybe you're um, dusting, sweeping, mopping, like you know all the things that you do whenever you clean. Mop, you're doing the dishes, laundry, blah. All of that, you know, really super exciting adulting stuff. So that would be your cleaning block. And so each block is like a category of your life. And within that, you've got a list of things that you need to accomplish. So for me, I have a study block. Now, each time I have a study block, what I'm studying is going to differ. But, you know, maybe I need to make notes or uh, do practice questions. Right. So there's different things that I can do within that block. Um, let's say you have a morning block. This is a really good block. I love this block. Well, within your morning, let's say you give yourself three hours, right? I was supposed to make a little arrow there. <laughs> let's say you give yourself three hours for a morning block. Well, you're going to get up. Maybe you're going to drink your coffee. You're going to read, maybe Bible study. Uh, maybe work out. Shower. Um, get ready for the day and um, have breakfast, right? 
maybe your morning block looks a little bit different. Maybe you're getting your kids ready for school. You're getting yourself ready and uh, maybe you're working out later in the day, right? You could have an evening block where there's certain things that you do in the evening, a part of that evening block. So it's like cooking dinner and cleaning up and getting the kids bath or um, getting your stuff ready for tomorrow. Just, and honestly depends. You guys can customize this to make this work for you in your life. Cause we all have, we all have different areas. You know, some of you guys may not be studying right now. You may not be getting kids ready for school or whatever. So these are some different blocks that you guys, just some ideas and just examples to show you guys what I mean by blocks. Now to actually, what I recommend doing actually, before I dive into this, is sit down and let me see if I can find mine. Sit down and kind of create like your ideal day, if that makes sense. So I have... I bet I took it out of here. I think I did. Okay, hold on. Let me find it because I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. This is a block schedule of an ideal day. Not every day goes this way, but this is kind of like how I would like for my days to go. So I have a morning block from 7 in the morning till 10 in the morning. This is where I do my start today journal. I plan my day. I do a Bible study. Um, I do my workout, shower, get ready breakfast and then if I have to lay out anything for dinner out of the freezer this is when I would do it and then I have what I like to call my work block I'm not actually going to work like I said I'm in a transition right now so I am home but my work right now is content creation so YouTube social media Instagram that kind of stuff this is where I can plan content I can um, post different things um, create graphics take photos edit those photos film videos for YouTube like this one and then I have like a lunch block here this is where we have lunch, we clean up, I play with my kiddo, just hang out. Down here, if I need to clean, this is different things that I can clean. And then I have a study block, which is studying. From 5 to 7 p.m., I have a hangout block. This is where we hang out, and then sometimes it's yard work. It just kind of depends. I have an evening block from 7 to 10. This is where we have dinner. We do um, get our bath, showers, water the garden. We get to bed. If I have any team calls... Um, and then I have my evening routine right down here and I even schedule out sleep. So from 10 PM to 7 AM is whenever I am sleeping. This is what I recommend doing is figuring out what blocks, what categories, what areas you have in your life, and then making a list of the things that you need to do for that area. And you can create your own little ideal schedule like this one. Obviously not every single day is going to go just, just right. And it's not going to be perfect, but this kind of can help give you a guide. This will also help you from forgetting different blocks and stuff. So a way to actually block schedule each day, let's say you don't have this. Even if you have this, I have this and I still use this. This is a happy planner and this is the hourly layout. So it goes from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And so um, let's get, yeah, we can use this week because we are now back here. I actually stopped using this for a few weeks and you guys, the weeks that I don't block schedule, I'm telling you my days are chaotic. So let's say that I have a block, like I said, from, it would normally be from seven to 10. And I would say this is my morning routine or just morning block. It doesn't matter. So I know from 7 a.m to 10 a.m. there's certain things that I'm going to be doing and this is where the rest of my planner comes into play so from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. it's my morning block I know my morning routine so I don't need to write this down anywhere I mean I have it wrote down here on this page but I don't write it down in my planner but let's say from maybe this is going to be a, a different day than this schedule that I created over here let's say from 10 to 1 is going to be a study block well, I can look over here in this side of my planner and I can see, okay, what is it that I'm studying? Which I don't have this right down, but let's just say I do. Um, what is it that I need to study? So then I know once I'm in this block, right, from 10 to 1, I'm studying and I can look and see what it is I need to study. So this is just a way to do it on an hourly planner. Now, if you don't have an hourly planner, I have another option for you. This is actually a mini happy planner. This is the student layout. These colored blocks are great for block scheduling, you guys. So you could write out like morning and do 10 a.m. or 7, 10, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., right? And then you could make a list, which I'm writing really sloppy right now, but you could make a list of the things that you want to do. I would probably do this in a classic size. If you don't know what I'm talking about, 
if you're like, what the heck is a happy planner? It's just a planner that I use. It's not just a planner. To me, it's like the best planner, but it's a planner that I use. It's on a disc bound system. So you can take all of your pages out. You can put them in, you can add pages to it. So many different things. But what I mean by classic and mini, this size here is a mini. And then this size here is a classic. If you had a classic in the student layout, that would be a little bit better because then you could actually list out a little bit more options. But this would work out just fine. Let's say from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. is another block. We'll just write study from 1 to 3. Maybe this is your lunch and your cleanup block where you kind of pick up the house. And you guys, the cool thing is, is when you start doing this, I'm telling y'all, you're going to see that you actually have time to do a lot more than what you're doing now. It's just crazy to me because I used to be that person that always said like, yeah, I don't have time. Like I don't have time for a workout. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. Mm, I'm going to, I'm going to challenge you on that. You do have time. We just have to, we have to figure out where to fix that time at and stop hopping from thing to thing to thing and have blocks and categories in your life. Let's say from three to five, maybe you have kids. This is maybe their nap time. I wouldn't probably let my child nap after five because <laughs> he would be up all night. But if you got littles, then yes, for sure, because then they'll go back to bed at night. But let's say this is, would normally be when your kiddos nap, right? Well, this could be time for you unless you're tired because if you're a mom of young children, nap when they do if you need to. But let's say maybe this is where you get caught up on stuff that you want to do. Maybe this is like your creative block, right? Where you come in to your office, you're hanging out, you're planning, you're doing um, things that you love to do. Maybe you're getting creative with stuff, you're painting. I don't know, this could be a chill block. It could be um, a cleaning block because maybe you want to put in some headphones, listen to your favorite podcast and just clean while the kids are napping. So that could be another block. And then let's say from five to eight is your evening routine. This is where you cook dinner, you do all the things. And then from um, 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. Maybe this is where the kids are sleeping from 8 to 7, right? So kids sleeping, whoops, I promise I can spell, S-L-E-E-P. The kids are sleeping maybe from like 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. This is where you hang out with your spouse, right? Um, and you guys have actually quality time together. Maybe this is where you do your Bible study. Maybe this is where you do your workout. Let's do another example. I have some, let me move this stuff. Whoops. I have some happy planner insert pages and I want to show you guys in case you don't have the student planner or the hourly planner and you don't want to go buy more planners. Don't worry. These are um, from the block pads and they're just general to do's. You could literally make this like 7a to 10a is your morning. You could even list everything that you do here and then have your next block, right? These ones is from also from a block pad and these are awesome because this could be from 7A to 10A. And I'm just using this as an example just to show you guys. Whoops, sorry, I hit the camera. But then you can list out all the things that you need to do in that block, right? So this is like your morning block. And then 10 to one, or it could be 10 to 12. And then like 12 to three, this is like your lunch block. This is where you hang out with the kids. Um, this is where you eat because it's lunch. The clean up. This maybe is where you're going to get laundry done. This maybe is where you're going to get your workout in. You know, uh, maybe the, at three o'clock, the kids go down for a nap. And so from like three to five, like I said earlier, this could be your time to do stuff. And so this is a great way to do it too. Now, if you don't have any of this stuff, if you're watching this video and you're like, I don't have any of these planners, I don't have any of these inserts. No problem. Don't stress. You don't need this stuff to create a block schedule. Let me show you. So I have a piece of printer paper and we are just going to block out our day. This is not going to be cute, but it's going to work. Super duper simple way to do it. So 7A to 10A morning. List everything out that you need to do for the day. 10A to 1P, list everything out. Do you see how I'm just creating this? It's not cute, it's not pretty, but it works. And it's just like, sometimes it's like, just get the block schedule done and get started with your day. So that's an option. You can also, which I don't have one on me, I used to do this. I would actually create them on Microsoft Word. So you just insert a table on Microsoft Word and then 
um, you kind of create this right here. Here, let me show you. You could create it at a table on Microsoft Word and then just kind of create this layout and block out your day and print it off and then try to work every day towards that. Um, you could create a template like this on Microsoft where you can just print those out and have them and you're actually writing it in. So you're not um, typing it all in every single day. You could if you like to do things digitally. There's, that's totally fine. Nothing wrong with it. But you could also create a template on Microsoft, print it out, and then write those things out every day if you wanted to. So those are some different options. Um, I highly recommend block scheduling. You guys, I'm serious. It's really going to um, increase your productivity. It's going to help you get more things done in the day. You're not going to get to the end of the day and constantly feel like, oh my gosh, I'm just running and running and running and nothing's getting done. Um, you guys know that feeling. I know you do because we all do. We've all had all had those days and weeks and months, but block scheduling is a way to help you combat that. Again, a couple of tips. Um, don't We're not hourly planning, so don't plan your day by the hour. Unless you absolutely want to, then go for it. Keep your blocks about two to three hours long. If you have to go for three hours, don't stress. It's all right. Um, you know, maybe you're someone who can stay focused on, on one area for four hours, but I know if I had like a study block for four hours, no way, it's not going to happen. I'm going to be like falling asleep, right? I'm going to need to take a nap. So, um, honestly, a study block for me, a good one is about two hours long and then I've got to get up and do something else for a while. Um, kind of experiment with it. See what works for you. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask. Again, you don't have to have the planners to do it. You guys can use whatever whatever resources that you have. I'm telling you guys, block scheduling has changed my life. And I know that if you implement it, it absolutely can change your life too. So give it a try. Let me know if you um, have questions. And I will see you guys in the next video.